In this tutorial, we will talk about the secure hash algorithm and the MD5, which is known as message digest algorithm uh, in C sharp.net. In the previous tutorial, we have seen that how we can encrypt the data and decrypt it back. Since these algorithms which we discussed earlier were two way algorithms, two way encryption algorithms where a data would be encrypted and it would be able to decrypt it back in its original form. But in one way encryption algorithms, once the data is encrypted, there is no way to get the original data back. The only way is we can compare the data to the compute hash and then check whether the both of the data are same or not. This approach is used in the SQL server where the passwords are stored in the database in the form of a hash where the only way to compare the password is to compute the hash of the password and then check it with the hash stored password in the database. So we will see how we can implement both of these algorithms in C sharp. So we are having uh, the classes for both of these algorithms. First we will see how we can create the MD5 and use it to compute hash and then we will write the compare function to compare the data and then we will see how we can use the secure hash algorithm and we will also write the <coughs> compare function for this uh, algorithm too. So let's start. First I will create or I will just create a function directly here. I will be using a string builder to return the computer hash in the form of a string and first I will convert the <coughs> text into the bytes using the encoding class later on I will just use the md5 class to create the instance of this md5 and then the only thing which I am going to do is I will the compute the hash from this text so this has been provided to me by this md5 class and just I will provide the text bytes here later on I will convert the compute hash in the form of a representable string format and here I will convert each byte into a form of string representation and at the end I will just return this This string to the user. So what I have done here is converted the input text into its bytes representation and using the md5 instance I have computed the hash, stored it in a byte array and then uh, using string builder I have created a string out of this computed hash. Let's see what we get here. I'll just 
paste this hello world here <coughs> and see I have got here computed hash now how I am going to validate the hash get validate function I will provide an input here now also I have to provide the hash here so the first step here is it's pretty simple and the second step is we will check if uh, the temp hash and the hash both of these are like equal so we will set this flag to true else we will set this flag to false and then we will return this flag to the user okay so let's suppose we have here text like hello world and we have this pure md5 hash here and afterwards we want to check whether the text and the computed hash both are equal or not what we are going to do is we will just provide the text and the computed hash and if it's true we will say both of the input and hash matches else they do not matches okay let's run this as you can see uh, both of the hashes matches so we have got both of the input and the hash matches but let's say our text comes out to be different like say we were comparing with so the hash was of the hello world but we are comparing with quick, quick brown fox so what will happen here is they do not So this is how we can use the md5 hashing algorithm. Now we will write same for SHA1 secure hashing algorithm. This is pretty simple. The only thing what I have to do here is I have to just change this to SHA1 what it will do here is it will convert the text and will compute its hash to the secure hash algorithm let's see it here and let's see here now we will write the compare function for these two which is pretty straightforward we will replace it with sh1 hash 
and we will use compute residual hash and here we will verify And you will see we have got OK. But if we were going to change it to something else, we will be having here a fail text message. So now we have implemented both of these algorithms. What is the difference between <coughs> both of uh, these hashing algorithms? The difference is uh, that the MD5 hash algorithm provides us 16 bytes of hashed data while the SH1 which is <coughs> secure hash algorithm do provide us the you can say 20 bytes of hash data so one comes out to be we can say 16 into 8 128 bits of hashing and the second one is 160 bits of hashing so it's up to your preference if you want 128 bit hashing you should go for MD5 and if you want uh, a bit secure hashing you can go for SHA1 which is 160 bits of hashing also you have got uh, a pretty good grasp on understanding the <coughs> hashing phenomena and you can use it in your database applications for any questions please leave it in the comment if you like this video Please like it and subscribe to my channel for further cool videos. Thank you.